Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Mustang 6th generation from year 2015 to year 2022. If you guys want to know the stock alignment, guys, the camber, front, rear camber, stock, what it is on performance, GT, EcoBoost, guys, uh, GT350, uh, uh, or I think the GT550 as well. Stabilis will explain that, will share the information with you for any of you looking for that. Let's say you're setting your car for a track or daily driving you may need to adjust the camber and all that stuff so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that guys because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools supplies from and you can save a ton of money so with that being said let's explain okay what we have specifically here i'm going to show you our camber before we share okay the stocks and all that stuff it just went to an alignment job uh, and uh, according to the thing they were supposed to set everything correctly okay this is what i'm using guys right here okay i'm using uh, this gauge which is very very inexpensive i will put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from you attach it to the roller make sure it's on a level surface and uh, let me see if i can bring it a little bit down so i can show you actually and we are at neg negative camber one and a half guys one and a half between one and two so one and a half uh camber okay on this one on the front negative one and a half what about the back let's see the back okay same scenario and on the back close to one and a half again i just cannot get the, the camera there but it's right between one and two so that's one and a half two guys okay one and a half as well now uh, let's explain okay we have front rear about the same let's explain what are the specifications on that guys okay what are the specifications that's what i found okay so for any of you looking for that information guys okay right here if you pay attention this is front camber for uh, base coupe base convertible performance package okay track package as well uh, uh, now this one will be guys check check it out now okay it says negative 72 plus minus 75 so up to 1.5 now this one is camber performance package coupe and track package coupe okay not the convertible we have the performance package coupe in our case ours is negative one uh one zero three and the tolerance is uh 0.75 okay so we can go all the way to 1.78 all the way down to uh point what will be that uh 2.28 negative guys okay negative 0.28 all the way to negative 1.78 so uh that's for the okay for that one for the gt350 and the 350r the specs are accordingly right here and then uh if you want to check the camber guys okay the camber on the rear all models except gt350 and 350r what do you have here it says negative one and a half okay plus minus 75 and on the 350 will be negative 0.75 okay plus minus 75 and the gt 350r will be 0 0.7 negative 0.7 so uh those are guys the specs that's what we found that's for a 2016 model uh, uh actually for a 2016 model specifications but uh the sixth generation okay it should be helpful on multiple years always double check to make sure okay yours doesn't differ hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time